So, could it be win number 11 for Steve Hislop on the Honda RC45? In under two hours' time, we'll know. He gets the signal. The front wheel paws the ground, but he's away. Joey Dunlop, 17 times a winner now, third in the Formula One. But it's Steve Hislop making the early pace, already six seconds ahead in this six-lap race. On board now with Steve Hislop. That's the Glen Helen section. On the climb now up to Sarah's Cottage. The style of Hislop on the mountain. Increasing his lead, it's now up to 10 seconds. Around the Black Hut and onto the four corners and one, known as the veranda on the very edge of the mountain. Hislop, 19 seconds ahead at the end of lap one. Hanley's corner, and look at Steve Hislop, almost losing control, and I wonder how he would describe that. Nick Jeffries on the Britain. He had an opening lap at 118 miles an hour, but sadly too, his race was soon to finish. Let's look again at Steve Hislop. Look, the bike is almost sideways, his foot's off the rest, and he just keeps the power on and brings it under control. Bungalow Bridge, Steve Hislop. On to the right-hander, and then into the S-Bend at the bungalow itself. His love at the last, almost halfway around the circuit. Man and machine in perfect harmony. Down to Douglas Road corner, Kirk Michael goes Hislop, increasing his lead all the time. Oh my word, Stevie, he gets a shake on there. The mountain, the bungalow, and Hislop. Three words that sum up the TT races. Steve Hislop wins his 11th race. What a tremendous end to the 1994 TT races. Well, I couldn't believe it when I got, I was real nervous before the race this time compared to the F1, but when I got my first signal, plus six, I went, oh, no, again, it's, and it just, then it was plus 11, and it just flowed from then on. Uh, had a little bit of a wobble in the second lap at Hindley's, but apart from that, I, I just backed off. I mean, you know, I just cruised in the last couple of laps. It's brilliant. You're pleased you came back then. The money's one thing, but winning two TTs must be quite another. Oh, yeah, well, that's me third equal. Well, third now, third yeah. in all time wins, so uh, yeah, brilliant. Couldn't, couldn't have been any better. Now you got 11 victories, Joey's got 17. Everybody's been asking if you're going to come back or if you're going to now wander off to other pastures. You're going to come back to the TT? Well, as I've said to somebody else there, I mean, Joey's 10 years my senior and he's still winning, so there's a hope for me yet. You prefer, would you come back for the senior in the Formula One as well as the junior? Yeah, I think, uh, I mean, this is still a sort of bike in, in serious development stages. I think next year, if we've got it sorted, we'll be back. And everybody's talk, been talking about lap records. They could be blitzed easily, I think, if we get this thing spot on. On a final note, uh, everybody's been talking about uh, the TT and the dangers and everything. Now, if you've won two TTs, you've won 11 of, 11 of them. At the end of the 1994 event, do you think it was totally over the top what was said about the TT or do you think it is still relatively pla a place to, to ride within your own capabilities? I think, well, as I've just proved, you can ride within your own ability at an easy pace and still win races. Amidst the celebrations, second home Philip McKellen and third Joey Dunlop can only stand and applaud the supremacy of Steve Islop. Stevie Wonder, in a class of his own, he came, he saw and he most certainly conquered.